I'm Dr. Lorraine Dickey from the Narrative Initiative. And I'm Dr. Erin Bendis from St. Luke's University Health Network. And we are excited to share our project for this year's Tipping Point Challenge. We know being heard goes a long way toward feeling cared for. Good listening skills are a crucial competency that builds trust and respect between patients who require palliative care and those who provide it regardless of specialty. In 2019, we at St. Luke's asked the following questions. How do we learn and practice robust listening skills that we can use right away? Mm -hmm. And how do we get these skills into the hand of our learners? To address these questions, we collaborated with the Narrative Initiative to develop a series of six write, read, reflect narrative experiences. These were tailored to the overlapping curriculums of three programs that work with palliative patients, hospice and palliative medicine, pastoral care, and psychiatry. Certified narrative facilitators help learners select and reflect qualitative language using their own short stories. Some of the topics we addressed included working with the imminently dying, interdisciplinary team dynamics, and ethics and moral distress. For example, a facilitator might say, I heard you say the word frustrating. I know what frustrating means to me, but what does it mean to you? This reflective this reflection invites the reader to continue the conversation based on their own personal perspectives. We found 93% of our participants reported this experience meaningfully strengthened their listening skills. Most reported specific changes they plan to make when caring for patients and colleagues based on their narrative experience. And they also reported this experience felt supportive and enhanced their professional resilience. We plan to achieve a broad and meaningful impact with our interdisciplinary narrative curriculum by offering this experience to all learners and staff who work directly with hospice and palliative care programs, as well as those who work with palliative programs in an interdisciplinary fashion. It takes all of us listening and working together to help our patients and their families feel cared for. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much.